Bye bye New York, bye bye USA. Has been a great time here. For those who don't know me, I'm Martin and this is my Jumbo. Yeah, we're doing those sailing videos and publish them on YouTube. Actually, our channel is bilingual, so videos are published in German and in English. So don't be surprised if after this video, the next one will be in German, but then the next one after that will be in English again. I've gone anchor up yesterday in the evening in Port Washington. And then I cruise the East River down through New York and past Manhattan, Brooklyn Bridge, Statue of Liberty. It was so exciting doing that during the night. I really enjoyed that. And then I was probably out two o'clock or, or three o'clock in the more open water. Uh, not much wind yesterday, so two before. Yeah, sometimes three, but the currents were very strong, so. We made reasonably good speed. Our first destination are the Azores, but from there I would like to sail south to the Southern Atlantic, to Brazil first, and then if everything is perfect and all right with the boat and obviously with, with me as well, then I would like to sail to Cape Town. But first of all, I'm concentrating here on that leg to the Azores. And we are sailing in August, so the so-called best time in the year would be June and July. And that means we are a little bit late. But I checked the weather forecast the whole July, how the situation was here between New York and the Azores. And it was very calm, not much wind, so I think I would have difficulties to get over in that wind situation. Now the wind has picked up, at the moment it's northeast. Wind force 3 to 4, predominantly 4. So we are cruising with good speed. Currents are quite strong here. It's a peak 1.5 knots. Had some this morning against me, but now it's starting to change and will support us. Then the wind might change to southwest and south over the next few days and that uh, would be great sailing wind to, to the Azores. However, weather forecasts can change, so yeah, let's see how it goes here, sailing in August to the Azores. The engine is running no wind at the moment, it's very calm, but that was planned for the afternoon, but the wind should have picked up in the evening. But uh, with the latest weather update, it all has changed, so it is much calmer now for the next few days. And maybe tomorrow morning I might have some sailing wind, a strong three before, wind force three. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sunset. 
over there and I'm looking forward to my bunk. There's no wind at all, so I stopped the engine this morning, which was running the whole night, but uh, very slowly, not consuming too much of the diesel. So I think it's a good strategy just to wait here and not using more of the diesel, which is a limited resource here on board, and just wait for the wind, which should come this afternoon between two and four, eventually, we will see and then we continue our journey on the sails again. The wind is coming, little waves. We are on the sails again, wind force 2 to 3 and 2.7 knots over ground. The weather has significantly changed, as we can see. Uh, during the night there was a rain front coming through a rain area uh, with a thunderstorm as well, so there were some lightning and thunder and then the wind turned to the north and I thought it just maybe for an hour or something like that, so I didn't want to change everything here and went on course south west but that was not the case it is longer now and the wind has stabilized at northeast to east and jumbo is beating the wind here and we are cruising south south east at the moment whilst i was uh, sailing uh, south west i came a little bit more to the west and uh, then i had a current of uh, one knot to 1.3 knot which is far more than i had further north as tidal current, so I assume I'm in that uh, arm of the Gulf Stream. So the main arm is a little bit more in the south, about 80 to 100 nautic miles. And obviously the current is much stronger there, it's moving to the, to the east. Uh, but with a, with a few circles as well, so you can have the current against you. Yeah, we'll see. Very exciting at the moment. Uh, hope the thunderstorm doesn't get me. <laughs> All fine. What a day! It's heavily raining. I think I had at least 10 showers today because of all the work with the sails. But anyway.
Yesterday the wind disappeared again, it was very calm, so I switched the engine on for a few hours, but then I stopped that. Put the drogue out and spent half of the night at the drogue, drifting. And then the wind came back at about half past two. And so I got the drogue back in and set sails. And this morning was fabulous. Wind force five, 16 to 20, partially 21 knots. And we are on course east, south, east. I would like to reach the 38 latitude. At that area, the Gulfstream should have a reasonable speed, so <laughs> that would support our journey significantly. But let's see. So first of all, I'm enjoying this uh, brilliant and fabulous sailing day. Very interesting situation here at the moment. The reason for that is that we have current against wave. And uh, that is uh, one of the turbulence from the Gulf Stream. So I think we are pretty close, at least that's how it feels at the moment. Yeah, very exciting. Hopefully I get to the, to the mainstream sometimes, uh, maybe during the night, we'll see. Great day, fantastic sailing day. We got a few nautic miles together, almost 100, a little bit less. Sunset, astern, all fine. I'm looking forward to my bunk. We're in the calm, so the wind disappeared yesterday after sunset. Then I switched the engine on for a few hours and stops it at midnight. Wind should come uh, in the evening or maybe if I'm lucky a little bit earlier late afternoon and for the next few days it doesn't look too bad according to the forecast so let's see if that is coming true. We are actually also here in the Gulf Stream so I have uh, two models uh, here which are showing my position in the mainstream what we also see is that the uh, Gulf Stream is not uh, straight, but uh, have some benches going up and down. So I don't think it's easy to stay in the Gulf Stream. I will try as best as possible and also making sure I'm in the right place for the right wind according to the weather forecast. We are currently drifting northeast and have New York in 370 nautic miles astern. I set a waypoint in the east northeast, about 150, 160 nautical miles away. I think that is, under those circumstances, the best course for the moment when the wind is back in the evening. What else? Yeah, Jumbo is rolling quite significantly, but uh, yeah, that's, it is how it is. <laughs> then I saw a few dolphins astern, very nice. What else will I do today? A little repair, so I have uh, one of the solar charger. At the output, I have a voltage which is a little bit too high, so it's sitting here down in, in the cabin. So I need to get a few things out and uh, get access there. There might be a cable which is uh, a bit loose and want to make sure that everything is in order there. Now, apart from that, I will cook obviously and then enjoy myself here during the calm. Yeah, the day has gone fine so far, so I did a little repair, but uh, so I checked the charger, but that was okay, so the fault must be inside. Then I made water this morning, I baked a bread, and now I'm looking forward to my dinner. We have sailing wind. Oh, it's so great. Dolphins. It's 
so great. I have the wind and then dolphins as well. Fantastic evening. And the Gulf Stream is uh, pushing quite well with about two knots. Ah, fantastic evening. So great, it's the first coffee in the morning. Sun is rising. Jumbo is sailing greatly. Reasonable good speed. At the moment, the uh, current is against us. We are on one of those vortices nearby the mainstream of the Gulf Stream. So that's not unusual. And uh, I think we maybe need to deal with it for the next five to eight hours. But let's see. Yeah, it's hard work at the moment here, so the wind has turned to east and the wind speed has increased to 23, 24 knots, so wind force 6. The current is coming from north northeast, so going to south southwest. It was predicted here in that area with a maximum of 1.6 knots, but I placed 3 knots against me, so I changed my course and I'm now sailing northwest because it's it's pointless to try to to make any any nautic miles against uh, the strong east wind and then against that current. So try to get in the middle of this the water sea of the Gulf Stream. What a fight here! Wind was up to 25 knots from the east. So I furled in the Genoa completely and set the stay sail and also reefed the mainsail so it's much better now, much calmer. Whew. It has been a very hard day, a lot of work here with the sails, furling them in, setting the sails, trimming the sails, so constantly. Then we had the current against us a uh, whole day, but we are now out of that. And it's starting to run with us, so we are sailing with good speed at the moment, uh, six and a half knots and above. All fine, but I'm, I'm so tired, I'm looking forward to my bunk. Well, it's a great day at sea. We are sailing downwind. Wind is coming from southwest with force 5 at the moment, so I'm sailing butterfly. The mainsail to port side and the Genoa with the whisker pole to starboard. And I put the whisker pole very much to the bow so the wind can grab into the sail even uh, if we have an angle to the apparent wind of about 120 degrees. Of course it's changing a little bit and I want to make sure there's always pressure in the sails. We are sailing in the Gulf Stream and that is challenging because the Gulf Stream is not just going in one direction and you are in and takes the advantage of that. Now it's uh, 
in some curves and bending and you can have the current with you or against you so knowing exactly how the situation is regarding the current is very important and I get those information from my weather app from my big wind we see that here the green area is a strong current so what we see here is how it is bending and I'm currently going from one arm to the other arm and take advantage of that actually I'm checking the current first and decide which one might be the best route so I get some proposals here from Pretty Wind and I think I will follow that for the next few days and then as I said in the second step I have a look at the wind situation which we can see here at the moment good wind as we can see southwest 5 to 4 getting a little bit stronger over the next few hours then we might hit a calm zone but then again wind from westerly direction giving us a good push and good sailing wind towards the Azores and obviously together with the current that uh, should be a good run for the next foreseeable days apart from that little calm which we have seen so far so good it's great fun sailing the Gulf Stream yesterday we had a day's run of 170 nautical miles it was fabulous sometimes with nine knots over ground good speed through the water as well and weather is playing along as we can see it's all good i'm looking forward to the next few days and the outlook is uh, not too bad What you also might have seen is that I have a little aerial or dish at the rack. So actually that is Starlink and working very well. So I have mobile data here on board with a good rate. Access to the internet. I can download additional weather information. That's very good. And also I can do video calls with home and friends. So really good. I'm enjoying that as well. The wind is still blowing very hard. Yeah, my goodness. Oh, that was a wave. Oh, yeah. It should get better. Oh, what a night. A couple of hours ago, the wind was blowing with 34 to 35 knots. And I had to go downwind 160 degrees to the apparent wind uh, just with the mainsail it's a little bit which is odd and furled in the fog completely and now it's a little bit better so the wind around 30 knots
how it is looking. A moment ago there was a wave breaking near to the stern, quite high. Nice weather, nice sailing at the moment. Last night was quite hard with wind force 8 up to 38 knots over a longer period, over some hours. So I couldn't sail it because the Jumbo was uh, struggling with that strong wind and with the waves uh, because we couldn't keep on course. And it was too much work, too hard work for the rudder. So I decided to just go downwind with 160 degrees to the current wind, just the mainsail, and that was good, good speed as well at that time, but obviously not the right course. I wanted to go east, and I ended up with northeast. But anyway, and then this morning at five, it was still blowing very hard. At six, it was down, the wind was down, and I could set the mainsail in full. Genoa as well to starboard, wing on wing, and that is nice sailing again, same as yesterday. Yeah, all fine. The sea is getting calmer and calmer and I'm enjoying the time. Good morning, we are on target course Horta. After two weeks, uh, we have 1,550 nautic miles behind and a little bit less than 800 nautic miles to Horta. At the moment, the wind is blowing with force 5 uh, from uh, southwest, so all good, good speed in the boat. We just let it run. I have the sailing gen running as well. It's producing good energy, good power at the moment. And uh, the solar panels as well. So all in all, the energy production is pretty stable, pretty good. So I had not much need to use the gen set yet. And I took so much fuel with me and I've only used 15 liters from, from 100. So <laughs> it's... <laughs> I think I took too much with me, but uh, all good. Better than the other way around. I can see a couple of squalls. So one is astern and one is ahead of us. I guess the one ahead of us uh, might hit us. Waves about two meters high. We had current against waves, so they were quite steep and uh, Jumbo was rolling and uh, the autopilot was uh, working very hard to keep on course. But now it's a little bit better. The current is starting to run with us. Let's see how the night will be. 
Oh, it starts raining. Oh. <laughs> we are sailing into the night. Sunset is behind the clouds. Wind is 4 6. West, southwest. Yeah, it was a good day. morning strong wind at the moment force 7 up to 34 knots so the waves are very high and uh, yeah jumbo is dealing with it <laughs> let's put it this way but uh, sometimes we get uh, pushed out of our heading and uh, but then the autopilot gets it done so going back on on the old course but only a few hours, I hope, at least according to the weather forecast, it should get better every hour now. Well, yeah, let's see. The wind is blowing heavily and it's uh, raining outside. Hopefully that is uh, final and wind speed will decrease. I've took the mainsail in, so I'm just sailing now with the Genoa. So the wind is now northwest. The current is slightly against the waves, so that's the reason why they are a little bit steep. And I try to get them directly from my stern. The sun is coming out. I think the wind will turn further to the north. We'll see. It's a very nice evening, the waves have calmed down, the wind is blowing with force 4, sailing beam reach, great sailing evening. Not much wind this morning, so around 7 knots, it's just enough to keep a little bit speed in the boat. But uh, due to the swell, the sails are not standing well, so they are losing pressure in between. But uh, we are making about 2 knots speed. And that should continue for the next few days, so around this wind speed, sometimes a little bit more, 10 knots. And it's 460 nautical miles to water and we don't have enough diesel to 
just uh, do it on the engine so I need to do some mileage on the sails. I think I can, can do 300 so if I get one third done on the sails, we need to see. A squall, we have a little bit more wind, nine knots, so we are on the sails. Unfortunately, not enough wind, so the engine is running. It's a my my, but unfortunately, too small, so I get it back in, into the water. We are under sails again, so we have uh, about wind force 3 to 4 from the north, cruising with a speed of 5 to 5.5 knots. Oh, that's much better. So uh, down there it's not the engine uh, which is making the noise, it's a water maker. Uh, because the batteries are full and I'm just taking the opportunity to make uh, the water with that uh, energy. It feels so good. <laughs> having pressure in the sails. I'm sailing the last miles to Horta. I have about 150 nautic miles left to the marina there. At the moment I'm not cruising with the greatest speed, wind is force 4 from north north west so we are beam reach a little bit downwind. I might take the whisker pole in that uh, might give a half a knot so let's see but uh, I need to wait if that uh, wind direction really stabilizes and continues for a while. Yesterday in the evening I had a visit from dolphins, very nice they were crossing my course coming from the south and going to the north and a few of them took the opportunity to swim together with Jumbo. It was a real highlight yesterday. I'm sailing the last 15 nautic miles. Yeah, sunset is close, maybe 20 minutes. Wind is still good. Force 3 to force 4 from the north, so we are making reasonably good speed, five knots over ground and I expect that uh, I will arrive in Horta maybe in the early in the morning and that means I need to be awake very early maybe four or three o'clock to make sure that everything goes all right on the last nautic miles when I'm approaching the island but all fine I'm really looking forward to Horta. <laughs> I'm almost there, Fayales port side, and I have about seven to eight nautic miles left. Yeah, the wind speed has a little bit decreased. It's six o'clock in the morning, and sunrise is quarter past seven, so I will arrive in daylight, I guess. Oh, that's my alarm clock, yeah. <laughs> I'm already awake. There are some boats in our course line. So I guess fisher boats need to be careful. Here is Fayal. We need to get around that corner. Ahead is Ia de Poco. It's in close vicinity to Fayal. Yeah, I can smell the land. <laughs> it's totally different to the air at sea. Water. Over there is the entrance to the harbor area in the marina. Almost there. In coastal areas with a life jacket. It's looking quite nice. Wow.
I've made it. I'm now here at the fuel dock in Horta. I've made it. Shortly before 8 o'clock this morning, I arrived at the fuel dock and tied down my lines. After 20 days and 9 hours and 2370 nautic miles. The sailing itself from the US here to the Azores was really great. In the beginning, okay, I had some problems with the wind. There was not enough wind, so I became a little bit desperate <laughs> how, to, how to get here. But then I had uh, good wind. The Gulf Stream helped a lot. That was the most times in my favor. Then I had a couple of nights when the wind was very strong with force eight. So I had to run downwind and couldn't keep on course. But I got over that as well. But the last few days were very relaxed. I had sometimes wind, I could sail a lot, but sometimes I had to use the engine as well. So I'm glad to be here. I'm glad that I made it and I'm looking forward to the departure in three days. So I booked this berth for three nights and we'll do all the things uh, I have to do, uh, doing the provisions, etc., laundry and, and, and a few other things. So in the marina office and immigration, they were very surprised that I'm sailing from the USA here to the Azores and then just staying for three days and sailing south to Brazil. But they understand why I'm doing that. So uh, because of the hurricane season, I couldn't cross the Caribbean Sea. All fine. It's early in the morning, so I will have the beer later. But uh, first of all, coffee and bread. Marina is looking really nice. The weather is playing along and here are many pictures at the Kai. So sailors painted their sailing yachts or names of the boats, so maybe I do that as well. I'm now on my way with Stefan and Hi. Ellen from Sailing Yacht Tetis and our destination is Peter Cafe Sport and we have the well-deserved arriving beer or docking beer. Yeah. Peter Cafe Sport. Uh, great evening here in Peter Cafe Sport. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I'm quite busy today, so I did the laundry this morning. Then I brought the empty gas bottles to the yacht service and I get them refilled. Can pick them up sometimes later today in the afternoon. Then I was at the ship chandler and bought their three canister, which I filled at the fuel dock and carried them over here by hand. Uh, yeah, that was uh, quite exhausting. Yeah, but now I'm uh, with 80 liters more diesel on the way because I converted another 20 liter gas canister to, to diesel. So I have 80 liters more that might help in the calms going further south. Yeah, apart from that, I'm going into the mast later this afternoon and do a rig check and then a rigger will come maybe tomorrow or later today as well and they have a look as well. So always good to have a second opinion. Yeah, quite busy here on land, so I'm looking forward to the departure. <laughs> uh, Stefan von Sailing Yacht Tetis is on board and I'm going up the mast and do the rig check and he is That's correct. helping me. <laughs> we will do it. Absolutely. Da oben ist er. Der Martin. So Martin, alles in Ordnung? Ja, bisher ist alles gut. Sehr schön, dann mach weiter den Rest. Hey Martin, everything okay? Yeah, everything is okay. So I haven't found anything which is good. And tomorrow I've engaged, or for tomorrow I've engaged a professional rigger so he can cast his eyes over the rig as well and check it. Uh, if he has time, so I'm not sure if he's coming, but uh, yeah, it's all good, all fine. 
I think I'm ready for the sale. I will do the painting now and put Jumbo here at the wall. So I think it's not too bad. Yeah, I could have put more efforts in, but uh, unfortunately the wind was blowing that strong and uh, yeah, some of the paint uh, got in the wrong place. But anyway, I'm pleased.